battery is already flashing. Um, hi Will. So today I lent the camera to Tom and Yates so that they could film some behind the scenes footage for Lovers Vows. Yes, they do have their own camera, but apparently they don't want the lens to be sullied by peeking behind the curtain of art. You can see why Yates is a writer, can't you? In the end, I agree to let them borrow it, just so they would stop talking. There are loads of piles, but there are only actually a few good ones, so everybody's trying to get their hands on one. Don't worry, I'm not, and neither is Ed. Um, Ed's busy with uni at the moment, and I'm quite happy to just sit back and watch the madness unfold. I um, do have all of the footage from the boys' auditions, however, and I did agree to edit it for them, and I figured there wouldn't be any harm in me sharing it with you. So, uh, without further ado, here is the boys' auditions. Where is everybody? Is this it? Hello. Well, we have someone at least. But we need to keep our options open, Tom. It'll be fine. Will it? Will it? No offence, Rory. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. This is all a bit of good fun, isn't it? Fun? You think this is fun? This is art, Rory! Do you still think this is funny? Where is Ed? Is he coming to audition? I wouldn't count on it. Damn! Is this where we uh, audition? Mr. Crawford, my saviour! No. Hands off the beard. <laughs> the auditions are saved. No offence, Rory. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> right, let's get this party started. Okay, so the first part we'll be reading <clears throat> is the part. Hi. What is it? Sorry, am, am I interrupting something? No. Yes! <clears throat> oh, um, what's going on here then? It's the boys' auditions for my new film. Oh, I see. Yes, so can you please go and see from over there? Oh, go all on. right, all right. The part you will be reading is that of Frederick. He's smart, sexy, charismatic, but goes through a deep, deep trauma and a period of self discovery. To find himself? Yes. Right. We'll uh, give it a read and see what happens. You ready, Tom? <clears throat> Prepare. I return. I return with these trifles for which I stooped so low. I stooped so low. I stopped so low, but to beg for them, that I return to find my mother on her deathbed. I would rather throw myself from the ends of the world. I would rather throw myself from the ends of this world, looking down at money, what good- No, no, don't read that bit. Pardon? It's on the paper. It's the stage directions, don't read that bit. Gotcha. What goods can I buy with this? What good can I buy with this? Good? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Do you want to maybe try a little less? With or without the prop? Uh, without. What good can I buy with this? A bit less. What good can I buy with this? Look at the money then. What money? The money in your hand. I, I don't have any money in my hand. It's in the stage directions. Uh, really? Where is it? <sighs> right there. But I thought you said to ignore them. No, I said don't say them. The stuff in brackets is stage directions. You say the words and you do the stage directions. <laughs> this acting lark's very complicated, isn't it? Are you ready? Yes. Right. I couldn't even buy the nails in which... <sighs> with which to seal her tomb. What good can I buy with this? I couldn't even buy the nails with which to seal her tomb. My great anxiety will drive my distraction, however... Rory, I... look up! What? Look up! But the stage directions say to look down. Oh, for the love of God, will you... However... Let the consequence of our affliction be what it may. For it should fall upon the head of my father. Cool, we done. Right, seeing as I've acquired two lovely assistants, what did you guys think? 
It was certainly interesting. Well, I definitely know who should play Frederick. I swear to God, if you say Rory, I think I'm Rory? Might... No, Henry was definitely the For best. For the love of... Wait. What, you think Henry? Henry was definitely the best. Yeah, thing is... What? Yates has kind of been gunning for this part. So? I mean, he's wanted to play this part his whole life. Didn't he only write this film last week? <laughs> yeah, but it's always kind of been there in his mind. So you made everyone audition, even though you knew he were going to cast? Thing is, there's there's more male parts than there are men, so... So you've strung everyone along, even though you knew you were going to cast Yates? Uh... That's not fair, Tom, is it, Frankie? No. It's his film. And... Henry was definitely the best. You'd be a rubbish director if you picked anyone else. When did you become such a film aficionado? I just don't want you to throw your film in the bin before it's even begun. Frank, what did you think? Oh, uh, well, there was so much choice. But Henry was definitely the most normal one. Okay, okay, the part's Henry's. He was the best. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, Will Yates be alright? Yeah, I've got a part for him. It's small, but he should be fine with it. Do you want to go call him back in? Right, well, thank you all for coming today. Thank you very much for inviting us. Right, now, we have a cast, at least on the male side of things. Now, Yates, I have cast you in the part of Windhelm. Is that okay? You are the director? No, but it's just... It's a small role, but it's a character that needs to be memorable. And you're the kind of actor who can fill a screen and people, some people will never be able to forget. This. This is why you're my director. <laughs> Stop it, you. Get on with it. Um, okay, next, I can reveal the part of Frederick. Ooh, this is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Thrilling. We'll go to... Henry! <laughs> I second what Yeats said. Well played, Tom. Ooh, what's my part going to be? <laughs> Rory! Right. Now, I have a very important role for you. Servant number five. <coughs> you are going to be playing the part of... Businessman! Businessman? Old businessman. Number two. <laughs> well... I am honoured, sir. Thank you so much, Tom. I won't let you down. I even prepared a speech. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. And let's cut it there. When I first met Tom! So that was the boys' audition. And the battery's flashing more violently now. Okay, right. Um, well, Tom and Yates are planning the girls' auditions as we speak. Well, as I speak. Um, so I'll make sure I share those with you as well. That is, if Rhea and Julia haven't killed each other with kindness by then. Uh, they're both vying for the same part, but they both think the other one doesn't know that they are. If that makes sense. Who needs sense, though? Because this is a lover's vows. No, it does, it doesn't really. Um, anyway, bye, Will.